Hi guys, it's me Jenny and welcome to your Health Matter channel. In our today's video, we are going to learn about how to get rid of bloating stomach, rhinitis, and bloated gas. But before we start, just a quick reminder that this video is for educational and informational purposes only. What triggers bloating, how to get rid of it, and when to consult your physician? In this video, I will tell you all of this and more. We are all familiar with the discomfort of feeling bloated and having a stretched out, puffy stomach. Bloated frequently occurs after a heavy weekend of eating, especially during the holiday season. But if it persists for more than a few days, you should see a doctor. They can look into this further, but the good news is that there are a number of things you can take to assist prevent bloating if it's only occasional annoyance. Thus, what are we anticipating? Let's start now. Therefore, bloating can be brought on by a variety of conditions including celiac disease, irritable bowel syndrome, increased wind, food intolerance, constipation, and swallowing air. Let's examine each of these in turn and learn more about them. First things first, we have too much wind. We now know that some foods might make us feel bloated and make us feel windier. Beans, onions, sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower and cabbage for example can all rise this. In order to maintain your daily requirements of 5 servings of fruits and vegetables, attempt to cook this down. I know it sounds funny, but it can really worsen bloating and incidentally swallowing air. Doesn't mean that doing this because nobody does that. But we all swallow air, and this occurs most frequently when we are eating. Therefore, there are things you may do to lessen this. For example, don't talk when you are eating, avoid fizzy drinks, sit up straight, and chew gum with your lips closed while doing it. But I know, I'm sure, you already do that. So now let's talk about food intolerance. Now, it can result in bloating when your bowels don't empty completely and too much gas from the food is trapped. Dairy products and wheat or gluten are currently the top culprits, but everyone is different. Therefore, the best piece of advice I can give you is to stop dairy food for a couple of weeks. Try to find a correlation between whatever you eat and when your bloating is worse by noting it all down. And if you discover a connection or have a food allergy, try cutting out the food entirely or eating less of it to see how you respond without this food. First, consult your doctor for advice, of course. And, I wouldn't advise you to completely take out all this food group. Bloating can result from constipation. There are now plenty of things you may do to aid in its elimination. Simply increase your intake of water, fiber-rich foods, and physical activity. Bloating and celiac disease comes next. The inability of the gut to absorb gluten, which is present in wheat, Burly and dry result in celiac disease, a common digestive illness. Therefore, eating foods containing gluten makes you feel bloated. It results in diarrhea, lethargy, and possibly stomach pain. Since 1 in 100 persons in the UK have a celiac disease, it is rather prevalent condition. Speak with your doctor if you suspect you may be affected so they can look into it more. A gluten-free diet can also be tried to see whether it has any advantages. And lastly, irritable bowel syndrome. People with IBS typically experience bloating more in the evening, and the cause of their bloating is not usually linked to excessive wind. And that's all for today guys. I really hope my advice will be helpful to you but please keep in mind that if your bloating persists or becomes more than an occasional discomfort, please speak to your doctor 
so they can investigate further and rule out anything more serious. See you in my upcoming video guys. Thank you for watching the video today guys and click the like, share or subscribe buttons right now to be kept informed about our new videos to come. Thank you and always remember that your health matter. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and bye bye for now. See you on my next video. Bye.